Oh, welcome back. Um, I'm about halfway through fitting the handbrake now. Um, what I've actually done, I've utilised this piece of angle that's already there. It's for the uh, seat belt mounts. I made or well, fabricated a little bracket down here. I don't know how clear it is, but that's for the handbrake cables. The handbrake cables also, I've had to space them out from the actual chassis itself. I made some little, little clamps up from little bolts. That handbrake cable's not connected that side. I've had to move the um, T piece for the brakes. That's all. Everything was trying to occupy the same space. I've got to make a little clamp of some sort of for this, this cable. It's supposed to have a circle at the other side, but it's not going to be enough room for it. So I'm going to have to be quite inventive to sort of make something up for that. That's the adjuster this side. That one goes through obviously another little, little wire there just to keep the handbrake cable in place. I'm probably going to put a piece of rubber in there. Yeah, the handbrake levers all in. Um, obviously, the, the plate that I put in there, I'm going to have to. Well, I will tidy it all up later on. So, but obviously, once the carpet goes all over it, you're not going to see any of it again. I've made a, a little pin in there with a little R clip. So, I don't know why I put an R clip while I was a split pin. I think it's just because I had it. I had to cut a hole through the bulkhead, or whatever you call it. So, that's all cut there. I'm going to have to dress that up and put a nice bit of rubber around it. This is one of the cables for the handbrake. That's the other one. So on here somewhere, I'm going to have to cut them and put some of them um, bulldog clips, I think that we call them. Oh, so I'll put loads of them on there. So everything's working okay. So um, I'm quite pleased with it so far. Yeah, so the handbrake cable's almost in. Just could put the brakes back in. Um, things sort of get some... Start off doing a little job and it gets worse and worse. So what I've done at the back, all this back... I don't know what you call it. I've actually taken it all off because it's just actually hanging off anyway. This one's not very good. It did have a little lid that lifted up and down. It was hinged over there somewhere. But obviously I'm going to take all that off. don't really like it. Um, so it's, it's all coming together nicely now. The actual car is actually fairly well made, but it's just bits and pieces that I just don't really like. So I'm not sure what to do about all this. So I must admit, I think the best thing to do is what I've done the other side. Just take it all off. It's over here somewhere. There it is sitting down against the wall in there. So and the other bits here. Loads of rubbish on it. So I think the best thing to do is just throw it away, start again. Sometimes it takes longer modifying things and actually making new ones, so I think that's what I do. Right, so the car's sort of taking shape again now. I've done loads and loads of bits and pieces on it. So the handbrakes, like I say, I keep repeating myself, it's almost done. One of the other bits I've done was um Change a lot of the electrics because on the top of the battery here there was loads of fuses all hanging about. I've tied it up quite a bit. But what I've done, I don't know if you can see it or not now. I've actually put in, I'm just getting there. It focuses itself. Well, obviously, it's not going. There's, there's another little fuse box in there. So I wired, wired it straight from the battery into another fuse box. And all them bad connections that are on top of the battery are actually in the fuse box now. It's not going to focus. Um, so the battery looks a bit tired in there. I'll put a, one of these little cutouts on the negative side. So it's sort of like a bit of deterrent if someone's stealing it. But also it also isolates the battery while it's just sitting there. Um, and that's, a bit, that's about it at the moment. Nothing much more to do under here. Obviously I've taken the heater box out, which is down there somewhere. Bear with next, one next to the toolbox again. Camera's decided not to focus. But it wasn't actually it wasn't actually connected to anything. It's just a fan, so I'm going to have to be um, quite a bit inventive about that. So anyway, it's looking good so far. I'm quite pleased with it. Still bits and pieces to do here and there, but get the handbrake done, get the brakes done. Jobs are good. Thanks for watching. See you again shortly. Bye now.